Oh. Making me nervous. That turn? Woo! Nice headshot. The way you like turned around there though is like really scary. Like two individual movements. You like did two swipes. Swipe, swipe. Ooh. Okay, wait, wait. I'll get paint diagram, paint diagram. This is what made my 180s click. Because I was a League of Legends player. Okay. I played a big mouse pad. I was playing low sense. And I was out here thinking 180s are impossible. And then I forget which coach told me, explained it to me this way. But I, I paid like every coach imaginable for coaching that when I was climbing, trying to figure out how to rank up. But essentially, imagine your mouse pad is divided. Okay. Your neutral position should be in the center part like let's divide it into a and b a the middle of a is where like your neutral mouse position should be okay so anytime you pick up your mouse to reset you bring it here to the middle of a and in order to do a 180 degree turn you swipe to the middle of b and now you still have the same level of flexibility and if you play the higher your sense is the more biased towards the middle your uh, center would be if that makes sense okay so like this would be your middle mouse position on a higher sense. And this would be where it belongs on the B side on your higher sense. Uh, but it's always mirrored when you do that 180. Okay. Um, now, if your neutral mouse is B, then of course you'd 180 by swiping to the left. But that that's weird. That's weird. And you'll notice if you watch um, high level gameplay, anytime if they've just recently reset their mouse and they do a 180, they turn to their right. They turn to their right. And I just noticed while I was watching you turn secret that you turned to your left. I just noticed this. So right here, if you're turning to your left, that would have been, um, you'd want to be in like the center of B to do that. And it'd have to be a smooth 180. But here I would have reset to uh, the center of A and done a right swipe. Bam. And also it would be smoother because it's a shorter turn. Because you're turning like even you're turning like 200 to 210 degrees. So if you just turn to the right, you're chilling. And so keep in mind that this is like essentially how you do these fast 180s. Okay. You have this mental model. And when you switch into B mode, whenever you get a break, like after you've killed the guy or you've got time, you reset back to A by picking your mouse up and bring it back to A. So like this is your default mouse position, essentially. This is where you mostly want the mouse. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Want to get coached? It's free. Join the Discord, read the VOD submission rules, submit a VOD for my moderation team to approve, and then show up to any VOD review stream and enter the raffle. Check the events tab on my Discord to see when the next VOD review stream is. Enjoy the video. Neon, Diamond 2, Pearl. Thank God it's not Haven, that's all I'm gonna say. No! Why do you guys do this? Why? Uh, I'm going to add to the rules. Uh, we're we're going to review the VOD, but we're going to add a rule that if you play in a weird aspect ratio, you need to have it uploaded to YouTube in 16 by 9. If I do this and this happens, we will reject your VOD. Okay, this is just too annoying. You can fix this yourself. Oh my goodness. We just play Neon. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's going on because you appear to be very hot and cold. You can see why there'd be one entry now. <laughs> Dude, the rules are tough, man. Ooh. You're really stationary in that fight right there. Like, really stationary. Mello doesn't like the stun, but I really... Uh, this is what I'm most concerned with. We're fighting this guy, and look, we don't move at all. I think you rushed it a bit. Like, our teammates are not with us at all. I guess maybe they won't expect every flank. No, yeah, we just lose the round. We can slide below that cypher trip. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Neon can totally slide under that. It's actually interesting that you didn't do that since you're the Neon main here. Mello's right. Mello's a Neon main as well. 
You can definitely slide under that. Man, is it really going to be gunfights? Your gunfight is this bad? This is, I think, one of the upsides to maining Neon. I think Neon can kind of crutch you into higher ranks because there's like slide peak is just so good. You can just like slide on kids and spray them. But the downside is uh, like, look at that. Oh, I mean, that guy's AFK. But, like we have to go back to this first peak. So our crosshair here is dead. It should have been up. Our crosshair is uh, here for reference because the video is a little hard to see. It's too low. And we've like overswung. And then you peek out and you can see like we're on their body. No good. No movement. Like this viper that we're peeking is also terrible, but I'm gonna smoke the door oh, when yeah. push with me. KO was seen really didn't see the viper. I don't know where they are now. Bro, look, you can tell this dude's so used to just sliding out. He's ready to just flick and spray at center mass. <laughs> and it'll work. It'll work. Oh, making me nervous that turn Woo, nice headshot the way you like turned around there though is like really scary like two individual movements you like did two swipes swipe swipe Ooh. okay wait wait i'll get paint diagram paint diagram this is what made my 180s click because i was a league of legends player okay i played a big mouse pad i was playing low sense and i was out here thinking 180s are impossible and then i forget which coach told me explained it to me this way but I, I paid like every coach imaginable for coaching that when I was climbing, trying to figure out how to rank up. But essentially, imagine your mouse pad is divided. Okay, Your neutral position should be in the center part. Like, let's divide it into A and B. A, the middle of A is where like your neutral mouse position should be. Okay. So anytime you pick up your mouse to reset, you bring it here to the middle of A. And in order to do a 180 degree turn, you swipe to the middle of B. And now you still have the same level of flexibility. And if you play, the higher your sense is, the more biased towards the middle your uh, center would be, if that makes sense. Okay. So like this would be your middle mouse position on a higher sense. And this would be where it belongs on the B side on your higher sense. Uh, but it's always mirrored when you do that 180. Okay. Um, now, if your neutral mouse is B, then of course you'd 180 by swiping to the left, but that that's weird. That's weird. And you'll notice if you watch um, high level gameplay, anytime if they've just recently reset their mouse and they do a 180, they turn to their right. They turn to their right. And I just noticed while I was watching you turn secret that you turn to your left. I just noticed this. So right here, if you're turning to your left, that would have been, um, you'd want to be in like the center of B to do that. And it'd have to be a smooth 180. But here I would have reset to uh, the center of A and done a right swipe. Bam. And also it would be smoother because it's a shorter turn. Because you're turning like even, you're turning like 200 to 210 degrees. So if you just turn to the right, you're chilling. And so keep in mind that this is like essentially how you do these fast 180s. Okay. You have this mental model and when you switch into b mode whenever you get a break like after you've killed the guy or you've got time you reset back to a by picking your mouse up and bring it back to a so like this is your default mouse position essentially this is where you mostly want the mouse so i hope that helps i hope that helps oh i think that's slideable man oh, I'm sorry. Default, default. Oh, oh, they're actually ready for us. That's actually so cringe. Yeah, and I would say this is advice specifically for our player here. If you're in chat and you're like, whoa, but I can't even do a 180. My sense is too low. Well, then just don't main Neon, okay? Neon needs to be able to do crazy fast 180s. <laughs>
up your sense <laughs> if you main neon to like not high but it has to be reasonable like you know in the 200s for edpi george is high no in the 200s low sense is like below 200. like for example um jg has been playing on um 0 0.1 1600 and that's like 160. that's low and he can 180. um so if you're in the 200s you're kind of chilling with a, a normal mouse pad if over 800 matches played this act you went from bronze one to plat three you like to thank and contribute most of your games link your tracker link your tracker if over 800 games this act 800 you played more than 16 games a day give me a sec it's gonna take a while wait why is it gonna take a while why is it gonna take a while here's my tracker why that why would that take a while can you walk me through it because it just took me two seconds <laughs> take a while to play 500 more games oh my god he he posted he posted he found his tag what the f is this i have to ban you i have to ban you this is not okay you need to do things other than valorant you need to do things get out of here this is too much you can't play this much and you're watching my stream i'm man you provided the proof and i'm sorry i've banned you anyways go find at least one other hobby just you can play valorant every day okay just play half as many games just half that's still a lot you are playing over 10 hours a day. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. I'm sorry. Not okay. You need to do something else. Five hours a day is okay. 10? Nah, dude. Go learn an instrument. What's his total hours? Oh, God. You're right. <laughs> this is the weirdest tracker I've ever seen. <laughs> he wants to go pro? Then he's doing too much. This is too much if you want to go pro. This is a hindrance on your improvement. You know where I was after 500 hours? Higher than plat three. You can submit an unban request at the end of the act with link here tracker. I want to see seven games a day tops, okay? But just wants to play the game. At a certain point, it's addiction, okay? And that guy's over the line. It's an unhealthy amount of valor. Anyone. Yeah, I, I agree, Max. People like romanticize putting in the grind set on certain things like you know financial independence retire early i wake up at 5 a.m so i can work on my side hustle it's like and people d direct that type of energy into all sorts of things like valorant it's too much oh, I mean. Bray, wait, 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 wait. your crosshair placement so lazy for a diamond player i hate calling this out but this is what i was looking for look at this Bro, you can't. Come on. Go, go, go. <laughs> Dude, you're 80. such a neon slide crutch player. <laughs> you're such a neon slide crutch player. You just slide and spray. You just slide and spray. I'm surprised you didn't buy Frenzy came back you see quad black bars tell me about it people who are sticking around for this review are the real viewers Man, it's like the, the shots are okay, but the movement is not. It's especially apparent here. You're taking um taking like baby steps. Like Danny DeVito steps. Why aren't you taking Andre the Giant steps? Not really, I'm just Oh no 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 no. There's no way you're not ready for this guy. I'm counting frames. I'm counting. We're, we won't count the foot. You're not that good at the game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
Oh, actually, you do shoot. Oh, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. You are ready for them to peek. But the reason why I didn't think you were ready is because you're still walking forward. Which means in your head, you're like, yeah, they're going to peek me. And then you're like, and it's totally fine for me to be holding the W key when that happens. It's not fine for you to be holding the W key when that happens. You need to be stationary or moving uh, this way with uh, your lovely friends, Mr. A and D. Okay. Okay. We see two with fate. I like it. That was a good peek, but our fate's getting ahead of us. Oh, we're such a body shot, Barry. Did you know this guy's low or what? There's no way. There's absolutely no context clues that tell us that guy's low. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. Baby steps. We're just watching your gunfights now. Uh, I've honed in. And in that case, it really depends. This is crazy. So here you're at head height. Watch. Um, oh, it's because you aimed up heaven for a second and then you came back and you're too low now. You see? That's where the body shot came from. Dude, I, I remember this feeling. It was like when I was lower elo, it felt so much more natural for the crosshair to be like here. For whatever reason, it felt like the um, like the whole 3D like stereoscopic view of the world was like more flat when my crosshair was lower. And I'd always have to remember to pull it up because it felt weird. It felt so weird. And anytime I'd have to like aim at a high angle and then aim back down, my crosshair would always come down here where it felt right. And then at some point, it just flipped. It's like, uh, you know how your brain, uh, you actually see the world upside down, but your brain like flips it. And there's videos where people wear those glasses that flip your vision and it takes like four days and then suddenly you see normally again. It's like that. We need to be conscious of this. I don't think you see it, the game normally with your crosshair up here because it keeps dipping. You see how it's already dipped? Oh, there's two there, two there. You see? Look where our crosshair is. It's here. My normal is here. Like, I don't have to think about it. I would just be on her head because this is a level. There's no vertical change. Your default is here. And that's not okay when our rank icon looks like that. It's not okay when our rank icon looks like that. Spike down mid. Like, I'm not even talking about crosshair placement or um, peaking. I'm talking about the height of our crosshair. That's it. Just the height of it. Even if our crosshair were way over here in the wrong spot, the height of it is wrong, okay? The height. The height of our crosshair is wrong. Even here, it's too low. Too low. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look, you can see it's too low as that guy peeks you. Look, if we extended a line. Oh my god. One sec. I really want to... How do I draw a straight line, bro? Maybe dots? See how you're on her neck? This has nothing to do with crosshair placement. Crosshair placement, our crosshair should have been over here. <laughs> this is just the height I'm talking about. Our height is always biased too low. Look, we're mopping the floor. And this is the difference. Your default, here you're like, oh, my knife's out. Why would I aim at head height? And in my head, that's just where I aim. In your head, where you aim when you're not thinking is the ground. When I aim when I'm not thinking is the head, okay? That's the difference. Crosshair height is way too low when we're not consciously aware of it. Focus on keeping it up until it's subconsciously at the right height. This can take an arbitrary amount of time. You might need a month on this before you can bring me another VOD, but this is not okay. Um, specifically when there's these angles that are flat. So there's no vertical change. Like let's say you're A main on Haven and you're peaking B. There's no vertical change. Your crosshair should always be at head height. I, I'm not talking crosshair placement where you need to be on their head. I'm talking just the height of your crosshair, okay? If I if I see a peak like this in your next VOD and your crosshair is low, then it's not good enough. It's not good enough. You're diamond. It should be default for you.